Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part one of the build of the Lego Ninjago movie Quake Mech, set number 70632. 1,202 pieces. So um, I've, I've built most of all of the Lego Ninjago movie sets, but this is one of the few that I, I still haven't built. I have another one um, yet to come, and then uh, three or four remaining to purchase and build on this channel. So um, I was waiting on this one to go on sale, and it took forever to go on sale, but it finally did. I picked it up. I'm excited about this. Cole is my favorite of the lego uh, ninjago characters so um obviously i was excited to get this mech vehicle um it's a it's, it's a uh, different vehicle because it's a, a unipod where it's got the one wheel um there's gonna be i can see something back here that's gonna help support it but then it's got the big blasting speakers that basically create some sort of earthquake style um weapon so uh cole Cole has that DJ vibe going on, especially in the movie. I don't really watch too much of the um, Ninjago cartoons, but definitely uh, love the movie. And obviously that's what this is from. All right, so there's our contents. Let's see, we have numbered bags. So I'm gonna sort these out. Here's bag number one, so I'll keep that off to the side. Um, four, five, six, four, seven, seven, three, and two. Alright, so it looks like eight bags of parts. We did have this giant tire that was loose in the box along with a, a big wheel. Um, we can go ahead and probably put this together even though it doesn't call for it yet in the instructions I mean I haven't even opened the instructions yet but we know that this is gonna go together so we might as well put it on here so there's our giant wheel and tire I mean it is huge I mean my hand look look, look I'm making a, a fist and I have large adult hands um, you can kind of see how big this this wheel and tire is, so it's going to be enormous. All right, so we'll open our instruction book. It's just a single book. You can see it's just one book. Um, and then we have a medium-sized sticker sheet with, honestly, not that many stickers. They're, they're pretty large stickers, so we should be good with not having to put too many stickers together. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our um, bag one contents. Let me adjust this camera just a little bit more. There we go. I want it to where we can see most of everything I'm building. All right. So in this bag one, we do have a weapon of mass destruction. I'll throw that off to the side. And then we have two other small bags of parts. And then this one right here. We are going to build our first minifigure in this bag. And if we spread these parts out, kind of sort them a little bit. These turntables are going to go together. I'm dropping parts on the floor. All right, so first minifigure we have is Cole. It's the only minifigure in this bag, and I really dig the, the side printing on the arms. I know they did that a lot, a lot of the Lego Ninjago movie sets, but it's been a while since I've built one, so good to kind of get back into building some of these sets. All right, so we have the bottom part of his mask. We will put the head on. And then we have the upper part. So that is coal. And then he has a weapon. It is just basically a big hammer piece. So we take this plate. Brick with a stud on it. You see that stud has a hole in it. That hole is critical. 
because we're going to take a bar piece. What color is that bar? Reddish brown bar. And there it is, mixed in with the big parts. So we put that bar inside that hole of that brick. And then the last thing we have is this uh, cheese slope. So that creates this big hammer piece. And we simply just snap that into Cole's hand. There you go. Very nice minifigure. I've gained a, a large appreciation of, of the minifigures over the years as I've built more and more sets. Just seeing all the different decorations and way that the minifigures are styled, it really, um, I appreciate them a lot more. So that's a, that's a semi basic fig. There's not a lot of stuff going on with it, but since it's one of the main characters, it's something that, that I enjoy. All right. So we starting with these plates under these little boats or inverted sloped pieces. Put um, a couple of bricks. One, two, three. Next, we have. Oops, slipped out of my hands. So it's kind of a chilly winter day. Um, well, not winter. It's actually fall when I'm recording this. And uh, during the fall, I, I lotion my hands up quite a bit because the, the dry air, the cold, dry air will dry out my skin. So I've recently lotioned my hands and honestly, they're a little bit slippery. So we'll see how long or how many pieces I, I drop during this build. All right, so next is two more of these one by three plates and two one by two white plates. Okay, so we're basically building the, the main body portion of the, the mech. We have a brick with studs on the side. It's right here. You can see the four studs on the side there. Basic one by four, and then some red Technic bricks. One and two. Next is two blue bricks and then two more red Technic bricks. Yellow brick here and then some two by three plates. So these Technic pinholes that you see exposed are gonna be critical, I feel, in the attachment of our big turntable pieces. Just from the experience I have with Lego Technic and building all these sets, I think it's, I can kind of see into the future a little bit. And uh, the reason I wanted to point it out now is so when we start connecting those pieces, you'll kind of know what, what they're connecting to. All right, a two by three plate. We have two trans red plates and a white one here. Two of these dark reddish brown slopes. Okay, we have more of our Technic brick, blue brick, and Technic brick both sides all right so now we're going to take our 
a turntable pieces. So they come in two separate parts and we're gonna snap them together. This is one of those um, snaps of no return. Basically there's some little clips on the inside of here. They're gonna clip on this little groove you see right here around the whole thing. Once it's clipped on there, it's not gonna come off unless you have some sort of tool to push every single one of those clips in. But once you're on there, I mean, we don't really need them to come off, but listen to the snap. It's a satisfying snap. It's kind of one of those snaps of no return because like I said, once it's on, it's not coming off. So there's the other one. So we have both of those snapped on. Um, I'll move these to the side for a second as we have these uh, Technic axles. They're gonna go in this little thin lift arm. And I slide those on. Slide another one on. Slide this in here. And then one of these gray pieces snaps in there. Now I need to do three more of those exact same constructions because we need to put it on both of them. So I'll go ahead and make our little axle pieces. So when I put these thin lift arms, see this is a thin lift arm, has a little axle hole in it. Um, I find it easier to lay it flat on a table and just push the axles on it because then the axles won't continue to slide through. They'll actually stop. And then I'll put the other thin lift arm on top of it. Once again, that way the axles don't accidentally slide all the way through. So we have that one there and I'll slide this one on just like that so we'll put this piece here some sometimes it's easier to hold it there sometimes it's easier to put it on after the fact actually what I'm gonna do is slide this on on. It's actually kind of a little tricky to put that on, but let's repeat that for this other one. Slide that piece and we'll slide this piece. Come on, get on there. There we go. Okay. So, those two on. Let's see what we're gonna do next. We're gonna put the Technic pin and then this bevel gear. We'll put that on both sides. And we're gonna repeat it for this one as well. So what that does is it allows it to move, but it's actually very stiff construction. All right, so with those on, we're gonna slide these little pins just in the hole, but we're not gonna push them all the way through. So we'll take the other one, do the same thing. Just slide them in just enough to be held in place, but we're not gonna push them through yet. Because what we're gonna do like I said earlier, these exposed uh, pinholes on the side are going to come into play. This is where they do. So we line those up and we, then we push these black pins all the way through. So now we have this big turntable, um, I guess shoulder joint, because we're going to have some big arms attached to this piece, both of these pieces. So I'm gonna leave these black little bevel gears kind of on the, the sides like this. I mean, they can turn however, and I don't think it really matters, but just for um, clarity, because this is the way it shows it in the instructions. I'm gonna leave it like that. All right, so with that being done, we're gonna put a piece here. Start to put 
put a couple extra pieces down here. And some of these pieces, once they're put on, will actually hold these, like those bricks, actually holding those bottom pieces in place. Hopefully some of these other pieces will hold the top pins in place. Have some more plates, and then we have this dark gray plate going here. Kind of covering everything up. Let's see, we have another yellow brick. Two more of these bricks with the Technic pin already molded into it. And then these bricks right here. So you can see that, that little pin, that little black piece that we used to connect into here is exposed. But once you put that on there, like there's no way it's gonna come off without taking all those other bricks off. So it creates a very sturdy construction. All right, we have a couple very long plates. They're gonna go here and here. red plates here and we have four of these sloped bricks with a little plate on the side one two three four Two plates and two brackets. Red plate and then these black plates will overlap that little plate on the, the little curved brick piece. So now that one's good to go. Black brick slid down here. Another one of these sloped bricks. And a few more plates. I have two black slopes and one white plate. Thing is already heavy. There's a lot of pretty hefty parts in this first bag of parts. It's definitely adding a lot of weight to this set already. Okay. Last pieces are these two plates. Very good. Check that out. We've got our um kind of the chest area, the main torso part started. So we'll move some of the extra parts to the side. Looks like only three extra parts, kind of some small stuff. And let's jump into bag number two. Okay, we have everything for bag two out and we have our next two minifigures to build. Um, and these are both villain minifigures. See, the pants are different, so we'll take this guy, we'll take this one. This has a air tank piece. Got some angry faced guy, and he's got a yelling face. Let's do the angry face. And then he has this kind of lobster or squid style 
um, face mask. It's a helmet slash face mask. And this guy, let me look at the name on his. Okay, so he's Crusher. So this is Crusher. So once again, cool minifigure. Move him off to the side with Cole. And then we have our other minifigure. This one's similar. He doesn't have an air tank, but you can kind of see the same style of clothing. He has a single printed face. It's an angry face, but he has a dark blue kind of a beanie cap on. We'll do the light blue fish with the blade in it. What is this guy's name? This is Mike the Spike. So we got those two villain figures. And that is it for this bag. So we're gonna continue on with our build of the mech body portion. So turned this way, we're gonna take a couple of Technic bricks. Two more Technic bricks. So the light gray have the, the pinhole and the dark gray has the axle hole. Take a tile. If I can find it. We got some bricks hiding from me. Where are you at? I think I see you. There you are. That was the one hidden brick for this, this part. All right, so we'll put two more brackets right there as well. Take this reddish brown plate, put this on. Put two tiles. And this will slide down on these brackets. Okay, so that looks good. We have these one by three panels that are gonna slide down in here. A little bit of a tight squeeze. Wondering why we're waiting till now to put these on because we, uh, I guess we had to put those, we had to put this piece on first or else those wouldn't have fit in there. Which makes sense now. So that's in there. Next, we're going to take a Technic axle. This little axle connector on, slide it through this axle hole, It'll come out the other side, we'll put the other axle connector on there. Some clear panels here and here. And we have some black Double wide cheese slopes. Ah. Slipping out of my hands. wedge bricks and we're going to use our first stickers of the set. We have sticker number seven. I'll go there. Another sticker seven will go on the other side. And then we have sticker number nine. It's a warning sticker. get that one on that straight but it looks okay turn this guy over a couple of those sloped pieces on and then this 
quite. Alright, so we've got these little clips right there, and then we got these bars. Those are gonna basically gonna come together, clip on just like that. And it kind of sticks out like that. It doesn't fold down or anything. It doesn't really fold up either. So that's basically the way it's gonna lay out. So next we have a black brick there. Two red axles. We have two of these turntables. And they're both going to get the little records on them. Don't go there. So that's a cool little touch because you can actually spin the records. You can see how they actually go around. It's a little tight, but the concept is there. Alright, so we'll move that to the side. We have the windscreen portion to build. Oops. This yellow brick actually goes here. And this piece goes here. Okay, turn it around. Another plate here. We have these double wide cheese slopes, both sides. One, and the last one is right here. plate with a 45 degree slope molded into it and we have four black jumper tiles one two three and four one by one Technic brick and then this one by three brick put this axle I mean this pin in here slide that through have a windscreen that's gonna get two brackets turn this over and it will slide in right here more brackets and a tile. Okay, so I think that's just basically holding on this piece. Yeah, so with that on there, that windscreen basically isn't going anywhere. So that's just kind of a locking mechanism. clips with bars fold them up like that and then this uh, brick with studs has holes in it and we're gonna line those bars up and slide it in there okay so that creates our windscreen and it basically opens up because it's hinging right here where those clips are attached. All right, so we're gonna put some more stuff on the top. We have this half pyramid slope. 
plate with a clip and then the sloped piece. Two of these light parts. It's basically yellow anti-tile. Two by two round tile with a hole. Put that Technic pen in there and clip that on there. See, we have this bar. Put some bionicle finger pieces on here. A couple of ninja swords will slide in the bar hole portion. And that will clip on. I said that will clip on right there. That's kind of the main body and head. You can see we can open it up and coal can stand in there, blast his tunes and destroy people with the mech. I wonder where this will go. Sometimes they have a spot for it. That's not gonna fit in there. Yeah, we'll leave it to the side for now. All right, so that's gonna do it for uh, part one of this build. So let me bring everything over. Of course, we have some extra pieces. So we basically have the body started. You can see the, the top, the head area, and then we have our two villain figs that came in, bag number two. So we're gonna continue this build in the next uh, part. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any other parts. If you want to see more Lego build videos just like this one, I have a ton of Lego Ninjago builds and I have a ton of other Lego builds on this channel. So check them all out. There's going to be links down below and we will see you in the next one.